Royal Revelation Real reason Prince Edward never shakes hands in walkabouts. Prince Edward never shakes hands during royal walkabouts for a very good reason, he revealed in a throwback interview with his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. The royal couple were being interviewed by Sky News' Rhiannon Mills about Edward's mother Queen Elizabeth II ahead of her 90th birthday three years ago. The Earl recalled a piece of advice he was given before his very first walkabout. He claimed that apart from this one thing, he was given no instruction whatsoever about what to do or how to conduct himself. Edward said, I think the only piece of advice I was given was, don't treat it like a receiving line. So don't start shaking hands, because once you have shaken one person's hand you are completely stuck, you have to shake everyone's hand. Recalling this first walkabout, he explained how he had to just work out what to do as they went along. He said, I remember vividly the awful realization that we were going to have to walk through this corridor of people because the cars, I couldn't even see the cars, they were around the corner, and our parents just walked off and started talking to people. And I thought, well, I can either walk down the middle like a complete lemon or I think my brother was there as well, so we just said, you go that side, I'll go this side, but there was no instruction whatsoever. That said. Both he and Sophie expressed how they enjoy being in the car behind the Queen when she is out in public. They said they love to watch people's reactions, especially if they did not know the Queen was going to be there. Sophie even admitted sneakily opening the window of the car to listen to the reactions as well. Edward said, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best entertainments is being in the car behind the Queen's car, because that's where you see all the reactions especially in places where they're not expecting to see the Queen, that's even better. Sophie added, and we open the window just a little bit, so we can hear what people are saying. Born in 1964, Edward is the Queen's youngest child, he is 15 years younger than Charles, 13 years younger than Anne and 4 years younger than Andrew. When Rhiannon asked him when, as a child, he realized who his mother really was and the role she played. Edward explained that there was no one epiphany. He said that when you grow up in that environment, it's just what your parents do. However, he said he finds it interesting to watch his own children come to grips with the idea. After Edward married Sophie in St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, in 1999, they went on to have two children, Lady Louise Windsor, now 15, and James, Viscount Severn, 11. Louise is said to be the Queen's favorite grandchild, in part because the monarch loves how she and her brother relish their time at Balmoral in the summer, a royal and sister told the son. Louise reportedly also endeared herself by helping look after her cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis while the family were visiting the Scottish estate. However, Louise apparently had no concept that her grandmother and the Queen were the same person when she was young, Sophie said. Louise had no concept, really, that that the Queen and her grandmother were one and the same person. It wasn't until she was at school where other children were mentioning and saying your grandmother's the Queen. She'd come home and say mummy, they say grandmama is the Queen. And I said yes and she said I don't understand what they mean. 